Hi, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. When I teach my various block drafting classes, I typically have my students import images for tracing into electric quilt. I find that it helps them understand the block better that they need to draft, and it aids in uh, setting up the correct settings for the quilt. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to share my favorite process for importing images for tracing into Electric Quilt 8. Okay, I'm going to start outside of Electric Quilt because I first want to find an image and tr uh, that I can use in the program. So this is just a picture that I put on my website. Uh, I'm going to um, right click on the picture and select Save Image As, and then it's going to open to my folders. And I'm going to go ahead and navigate to Documents, My EQ8, the Images folder, and I'm just going to, um, you know, this is labeled Log Cabin Variation 1, so I think I like that. Uh, and it's a ping, and so I'm just going to select Save. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Electric Quilt. Now I've opened Electric Quilt, but I haven't done anything else. And so I'm on the home screen. And because this is a block that I'm going to be tracing, I'm just going to go directly to the Draw Block section. So I'm going to select Design a Block from Scratch. And you'll notice that EQ is going to ask if it's uh, pieced or applique. I'm going to select pieced, and then it's going to ask the style. I'm going to select easy draw for this one. Now once I do this, notice that it goes over to the draw tab. There are drawing tools and a tracing image. So I'm going over to the tracing image. And now notice that EQ asks if I want to import an image. It's the only thing that's lit up there, so that's obviously the first step. So I'm going to click on that, and it's taking me to Documents, My EQ8, and the Images folder. If that isn't where it took you, that's where you're going to want to navigate to. And so I'm going to find my Log Cabin block, and I'm going to select Open. Now EQ is going to allow me to crop this. Uh, since this was a really good image coming in, I really don't need to do that. Instead, I'm just going to select OK. And notice that it fills my workspace. Now, if for some reason the image wasn't square, you can fit for like a distort fit or center it or an inside fit. This looks good, so I don't really have to do anything on the position and resize. I also don't have to do anything on the crop. Now another option that I have when I bring my image in is lightening the image for tracing. And I can adjust this while I'm tracing the block, but my goal is to typically make it as light as I can. I want to still be able to see the lines, but I, I more want to be able to see the lines that I'm drawing on top of this particular block. And a last option is I can always delete the image by clicking on the X uh, in the box to delete the image. Now if I want to save my image, I can click Add to Project Sketchbook. And when I do that, it's going to save this in my photo section of my sketchbook. So let me go ahead and click on that. Um, it says it's added to the project sketchbook, but it's reminding me that my project needs to be saved to my computer. I have not done that, so I'm going to click on OK, and it's going to ask me to save that. So I'm just going to call this, um, you know, tracing image, and select Save. Mm -hmm. Now let's go ahead and view my sketchbook. And let's go ahead and go to the photo section, and you can see that this image is included. So that's all there is to bringing an image in for tracing. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques on Electric Quilt 8, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www. 
www.onpointquilter.com.